going on guys? This is Carl with the Racer Red Channel. One thing about Idaho, it is beautiful and colorful during the summertime and, and the uh, fall. But in the wintertime and most of the spring, it is very cold and mostly snowed in in the mountains. And I think one thing that people don't realize when they come here is how brutal it is and how you can actually get cabin fever even if you live in the cities, much less the mountains. So a lot of people from California move here thinking it's just this paradise. And it is, but don't mistake it for Hawaii or one of those places. It's a very harsh climate here. And I think a lot of people take their own spot for granted when they come here. They leave a place that is like California, you know, has beautiful weather. And then they come here thinking, oh, it's going to be so nice. I'm going to be in the mountains. Well, yeah, but how long are you going to be in the mountains for? If you, unless you are really hardcore. Most people have never experienced winter in the mountains. I grew up in a place called Unity, Oregon. And that place had some nasty winters with nothing to do. And like, no people, hardly anyway. So it's a lot easier being in Idaho after something like that, but if you're used to nice weather and you come here and all of a sudden you literally, wow, I almost hit that bird. All of a sudden you can't go outside. Like the uh, outdoor activities, it's not like you're going to be having nice barbecues out on the patio. And uh, people get to where they uh, really have struggles with this environment and uh, especially in the mountains not not only in the mountains but especially in the mountains like even if you were to, to live in Boise which is our capital yeah that's a pretty big city lots to do but even at that you walk around Boise or drive around Boise in the winter time you don't see very many people. You don't see any people who are dressed in, you know, t-shirts and just anything summer. Everything is like giant, <laughs> giant coats and completely covered. Everybody's sad. <laughs> it's, that's just how it is. But then you get to the summertime and it's just, uh, it is paradise really. The thing about summertime is it can be brutal as well, over 100 degrees. Where I live, it's been triple digit for a long time, every day. And so we have brutal winters, but we, all have, we also have brutal summers. a pretty meadow right here. But anyways, um, just a good thing to take note of before you move to Idaho, because it's not all just rainbows and butterflies. It's actually a lot of brutal climate here, and you go through the mountains and you see all this greenery and these beautiful flowers. But in the winter time, all you'll see is just white. That's all that you'll see. It's all just white. The things that do survive here are very, very hard, and very tough. Most things, including the animals, the deer and elk, sometimes they get cold. Um, which means 
killed off in large numbers because the winter has been too harsh and they're starving. The wildlife here have a, tru have a lot of trouble, hard times surviving winter time and there's a good reason for that. It gets cold in the mountains and there's not a lot of food, vegetation. Uh, there's just a really hard climate here in Idaho and, and that's summertime too. That doesn't just go for the winter but summer. So yeah we have beautiful cities that have climate controlled buildings and everything and for that reason we've kind of become soft but you know when you come outside you realize pretty quick that um, it can be harsh and in the winter time for a lot for a lot of people it's just too harsh. But I love it. All that said, it sounds pretty negative, but I love it here, and I think it's just the place to be. It's beautiful. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you on the next section. I'm going to wait for my brother right here. We're going to head on up the mountain. Peace. Peace.